I'm Kevin Nias. I'm a producer with NBC News, and here is what's in my bag. Now, the first item, most important thing, is my recording gear. So I have my tripod, I have my little portable mirrorless camera, and I have a wireless lavalier microphone that's for my iPhone. As a producer, my job is to get the location scouted out and make sure that the reporter and the crew have everything they need for the shoot. However, if I get there before the crew, I am the crew. And so that's why I have everything we need to make sure that if I see something that needs to be recorded, we get that shot. Miguel Almaguer has made his way to Maui and has this late report. My reporter and I, we were on one of the last flights into Maui. So we had to just use our iPhone and this lavalier to record what we were seeing the on the ground for nightly news. Some 4,000 people are trying to leave Maui, which is still under a state of emergency. So that's why I want to make sure always bring this stuff. The second most important thing I want to make sure I bring, power. If you have all this fancy gear and equipment, but you can't turn it on, it's not very useful. Here I have the car inverter. This will utilize the power in either your personal vehicle or a rental car. You just plug that in. You can plug in your iPhone, your laptop, your camera, or any of those things that have normal wall outlet. The other thing that I bring is a mobile power pack. This power is useful for not only yourself, but your crew and your correspondent, just when you're out in the field for hours upon hours, sometimes days, someone's gonna run out of power. Third item, I wanna make sure that I always have my laptop as well as my MiFi, my mobile Wi-Fi. This device, it uses the cell phone towers from a network to create a mobile internet hotspot. So wherever I am, as long as there's cell phone service, I have internet service. Pair that with my laptop, and that allows me to do everything I can do in my office while I'm out in the field. So these are items that I can take on any shoot, any situation. I know I'm going to need the internet, power, and recording capabilities. Here in California, one of the things that we have to cover frequently is wildfires. With covering wildfires, you have to think about not only getting on air, but protecting yourself and your crew and making sure that you can be an asset, not a liability. The most important thing there is safety gear. So I bring what's referred to as Nomex. Now this material, this cloth, it's fire resistant, not, not fireproof. That's important when you're near the flames in a place where there's a raging wildfire going on. Now, the last thing I'll cover that I bring on a one covering wildfire is a fire shelter. This is a tool of absolute last resort. All right, when covering a fire, you know, you don't want to be in the fire's path, a fire shelter. It's like a huge blanket. You find a safe place to deploy it and you pull it out and you cover yourself up and you just let the fire pass over you. I fortunately have never been in that situation and I pray that it never happens. However, you wanna be trained and be aware of everything that can happen during a wildfire so that you're prepared for it. When you're going out in the field on the first time, your go bags will evolve over time. And then you'll get in a situation where you go, oh my gosh, I don't have one of these. You can take that as an L or you can learn from it. And you can go, hey, next time I'm in the field, I'm going to bring one of these, whatever it is, whether if it's uh, extra food, extra power, extra equipment, because each learning experience you have is another item in your bag. 